Foundations sound fun! Creating knock on the wall, burnishing and flooring is knock on the wall. Creating foundation sound fun. <laughs> Welcome to the Builder Factory. You're probably wondering why you're in this place. It's just because the game designer wanted the level to be small. My name is Bill Dern, and today I'm going to be your worst nightmare. <laughs> Guide through the game mechanics. Let's start with the basics. Follow me. You know what to press, don't you? The tool wheel is available under the scroll, or under the left bumper on the gamepad. Right now! Under the Q key, you'll always have a task list available regardless of the game mode. As soon as you move the controller, the game swaps the controls to it. This way you'll never get lost. Fantastic! My maker always said that everything needs a solid base. Let's start with foundation. Select a shovel from the tool wheel and dig the area for foundations. Want to hear a construction joke? Wait, I'm still working on it! <laughs> Formworks and reinforcements! As a real builder, you have to use the store to get the materials you need to build. Press tab or select on gamepad to open the store. Good job! Choose the first store available. Now on the left, is a list of available categories according to the stage of construction. You can change the number of items you want to buy to 1, 10, or 100. Buy 100 formworks and reinforcements. Great job! Did you know that by holding down the left mouse button or the right trigger on the gamepad, you can insert them in the blink of an eye? Each stage of construction shows holograms to help you visually indicate which stage you are currently at. You know the joke about how one person works and the rest just watch? You just became part of it. Next up is reinforcement. Same principle as with formworks. Click or hold. I'm getting rusty! Good job! Now it's time for the creme de la creme! Pouring the foundations! Go to the wheelbarrow and pour concrete over the foundations! Eeny, meeny, miny, mo! Builders waiting just for you!
it for this part. I'll see you at the concrete mixer in a bit. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome back! You're probably wondering how come you had concrete in your wheelbarrow in the previous level? The game designers didn't want the stage to be too long. Let's find out how to make it! Choo-choo! You can create two types of mixes! Mortar and concrete! Mortar is needed to join the blocks. Concrete, on the other hand, is used for foundations. Let's start by turning on the concrete mixer. You will lose one dollar for each second you leave the concrete mixer on. So make it quick and effective. Next up, you need a sand. 
either by the shovel or by the wheelbarrow. Go to the sand pile and pick up some sand with your shovel. Then place it in the floor. Nice! The second way is to pour sand from a wheelbarrow. Try putting some sand in the wheelbarrow. Great! Now finish sand bedding by pouring the sand over the concrete screen. On the bill goes round and round. Good job! Now we have to buy some reinforcements. Every house you build needs reinforcement to make concrete more durable. Buy 30 grid reinforcements. wasn't it? It wasn't even working properly, but no one noticed. Now, every building needs an insulation. Fun fact! You should do it both in the walls and in the foundations. First, buy 30 insulations in the shop. Now, place the insulation over.
simulators must reflect reality, but we have prepared a lot of interesting solutions for you that will speed up your work considerably. See you later, Excavator! Yeehaw! After a while, Crocodile! It's time for the load-bearing wall! Quickly! To the Batmobile uh, training room! I'll take you through it on the way! There are certain types of walls. In our game, there are three types of walls. Load-bearing walls, plasterboard, and concrete partition walls. Trust me, it's the most rewarding part of the construction. You'll see the effects immediately. You'll need to get hollow blocks from the shop. Buy 100 of them now. Fantastic! Now it's time to pick up mortar. You can find it in the wheelbarrow. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. That way you don't have to go back and forth. You're taking notes from the last demo, huh? In Builder Simulator, we have a leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Climb the ladder by clicking on it. I'll tell you a secret about layer 12. The 12th layer is the lintel layer. Never heard of it? Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Buy one lintel from the shop. Right. It's time to place it in the hologram. Fabulous! Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. Buy 
nearly 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. Some would say the sky's the limit. But for us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. <laughs> Enough dad jokes. Put the ceiling blocks in the hologram. Extraordinary. After your work, dismantle your scaffolding with drill. This way, when your house is built and beautiful, you can take a picture of it. Yes, we do have photo mode. The next step will be doors and windows. See you later. Yeah! Welcome back. Eager to learn more? Today you will learn how to insert doors and windows. It's pretty cool and easy. Follow me. Every building needs a door to enter and windows to bring light into the house. Our game is no different. Remember from the previous stage when you inserted the lintels? You don't have to do it this time. But you need to know that they are the reason we can put in doors and windows. Let's start with doors. By one front door. Select it from the inventory and look at the entrance of the house. You may notice that the door is in the wrong position. Adjust it using the scroll bar. Hologram will turn green when it's done. After placing the door, you have to choose which pattern you like and apply it. Job. Now you have to screw in the hinges. Choose a drill and insert the necessary screws. All the screws that need to be screwed in always light up orange. Imagine using a screwdriver. Now it's time for wedges. Simply fill them in by clicking on the highlighted areas. Now you know how to insert a door. You can even open and close them by clicking on them. Don't worry about the foam. We'll talk about it later. Amazing! Let's move on to windows. There are two types of windows. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard home window. Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. Buy one window from the shop. Nicely done! Now try inserting them just like a door. Same principle, same fun! Now it's time to put in all the screws you need. Next step, insert the wedges. Insert them by simply clicking on the hologram. Support wedges are used to support and stabilize the window in the window opening. Whoop! Did you see how the foam filled itself after the wedges were inserted? We thought that doing it manually would be boring, so we automated it. 
Remember that every window requires a sill or threshold. Adjust it like you did with window and door. Look at the patio window next to you. You can see the difference. That's everything for doors and windows. Remember, you decide how you want your house to look. See you in the next stage. Yeehaw! Ah, my friend! Partition walls are my hobby. My neighbors also love to hear the drill. Ask them. They'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Let's go to the training room. Partitions separate rooms from each other and should, therefore, have the best possible sound insulation properties. Let's start with plasterboard walls. Of course, you have to mark them on the planner first. But for the purpose of the tutorial, on the partition walls themselves, we've already determined them. You're welcome. To build a wall, you need floor, ceiling, and wall profiles. Buy 100 profiles in the shop. Great! Now place them in the hologram and screw them in with a drill. Remember that the profiles are screwed to the ceiling and floor. job! Now we have something to screw the plasterboard to. Isn't that amazing? Buy 100 plasterboards. Well done! Now place them on one side. Looks great! After installing the plasterboard, you need to use screws to attach it. Take your screw out and screw them in. Nice! Every wall needs to be insulated. Mineral wool is often used to do that. Buy 20 mineral wool in the shop. Excellent! To lay the plasterboard on the other side of the wall, you must first lay insulation between them. Select it from the inventory and insert it in the missing places. Lovely. Attach one more plasterboard on the other side. This is how partition walls are insulated. The profiles must be fixed to the floors and ceiling, and the plasterboards to the profiles. There's also a second type of partition wall. Concrete partition walls. Assembly is very different. First, you need to lay a damp-proof course. Buy 20 insulation. Now, place it on the ground. Good job! Remember what you've done with bearing walls? You need some mortar. You'll find it in the wheelbarrow. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the stock in the wheelbarrow. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. Place mortar! Everything's ready for concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one lintel.
build a concrete partition wall. A joke to you? you want to destroy on the planner. This time I'll do it for you automatically. Guys, you're back, Jack! If you're not happy with the partition walls, take a sledgehammer in your hand and destroy them! You've already got the walls covered. I wonder what's next. See you in a minute. Yeah! Fellow builder, what goes up and down, what stays in the same place? Stairs! Follow me! You can build any shape of house. You can build a house as big as the plot of land will allow you to. But to get to the floor of your house, you need stairs. In some cases, a no clip is sufficient, but this is only in creative mode. This stage will be simple, but maximally rewarding. Buy one staircase in the shop. Great. Now select them in your inventory and place them where you've marked them on the planner. 
And now, just like with doors and windows, you can choose the type and color of stairs! What is the lightest kind of building you can construct? A lighthouse! <laughs> Amazing! Hmm, the more I look at them, I think they don't fit. As I am not annoying at all, I will pretend to be your favorite customer who does not know what he likes. You need to change them. Psst, this also applies to game and software development. Tear them down with your sledgehammer. Nice. Now, buy one more stairs in the shop. You're quick. Place the stairs again. <laughs> See how simple and satisfying it is? In this way, you're able to test different solutions immediately without having to monotonously build up the entire structure. We want you to have fun after all. Thank you, and see you later. Yeah! Hey, hey, hey! Next stage is surely gonna raise the roof! Follow me! It's not rocket science that every building needs a roof. In our game, you can build several types of roof. Starting with the simplest and most modern flat roof. Ending with multi-slope roofs. For the purposes of tutorial, let's try hip roofs. First, you need to buy a proper blueprint in the shop. Open the store and buy hip roof blueprint. Excellent! When you choose it and look at the top of the building, you will notice a hologram. Use the scroll bar or arrows on the controller to adjust the roof angle. Confirm it when you're done. Great! All you need now are roof beams. Buy some roof beams from the store. Nice! Now your task will be to complete all the necessary roof beams in the hologram. Remember that you can build scaffolding when working at height. Health and safety department is crossing their fingers. Have you ever heard of... <sighs> that was intense! Mineral wool, insulation, and plasterboard will be completed automatically so as not to create another phone clicker. We highly respect your time. Just kidding! More berry walls! <laughs> Back to the subject. You 
already prepared the roof for the tiles. Buy a lot of roof tiles.
starting to look like a real house. Let's go inside. Choose a blaster gun from the tool wheel. Got a gun in your hands in the simulator? Shoot it. This may be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Now for the serious part. Spread the blaster over the interior walls of the building and the ceiling. Do it thoroughly. Remember the corners of the walls and the wall pieces by the door. down them? That's exactly what it is! Choose a skimming blade from the tool wheel. Then flatten the walls and ceiling to prepare them for painting. Don't forget that the wall is also in the door recesses.
wheel on the bill goes round and round. If you're happy and you know it, then let's clap! If you're happy and you know it, then let's clap! And that's about it when it comes to insulating, plastering, and painting the walls. In the next tutorial, we'll play with floors and furniture. See you later! Welcome to the tutorial that everyone was waiting for! Here it is! Follow me! I modified a bit of the building you left out of the previous tutorial. I don't want to brag that it's prettier now, but how can you not appreciate such artistic genius? Remember the Bill 24 store? It's no longer available because you no longer need anything from it at this stage of construction. Don't worry, the items you had in your inventory have been sold without any loss as you won't need them anymore. Let's go directly to the floors. Open your tool wheel and choose floor template. Put the package on the ground first. And then, just like with walls, you can pick and choose materials. Nice! Use the
the right mouse button to indicate the area where you want to lay the selected floor type. And use the mouse wheel to change the laying direction. Accordingly, use left trigger and D-pad on the controller. Remember, if you want to change the material, you have to approach the packaging first. Now fill all the rooms with the first available material. on the bill goes round and round.
picture frame on your wall, and you'll see what I mean. Great! Now click on the picture frame with the right mouse button or the left trigger on the controller. You can choose any image from the library prepared by our graphic designers or upload your own. You didn't miss here. When you click on the plus, you'll see simple instructions on how to do it. But for now, let's pick one prepared by the developers. That looks absolutely gorgeous. You can change the image on the wall at any time by right-clicking with the hands tool, just like with doors and windows. After uploading your own image, just open and close the image menu and the list will refresh. The last task for today will be to sell the put-up kitchen furniture. Choose scanner from the tool wheel. Walk up to the object and hold right mouse button or left trigger to sell it. You can also duplicate the item you're looking at with left mouse button. But we're focusing on quick selling. Great job! Remember, that the interiors are not obligatory, which means that you can modify them as much as you want and how you want. Paint walls, change furniture and floors until you get the effect that you want. Remember, you can put in the interior doors at any time and you'll find them in the materials category. Choose one that fits your interior. Good luck!